Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. It's Friday, 19th of August. Yes, because tomorrow's the 20th of August and Thing and I fly out at 6 a.m. in the morning for a three-week holiday, which we plan really quickly. Now, if you're interested in our holiday, I'll talk about it at the end of this video. We are holidaying in Australia and um, I'll go through that with you before we get on to the video of what I'm going to talk about yarny wise we'll talk about the elephant in the room which is my lovely injury here to my forehead so for two days I've been on holidays and the first morning I got up really early and I thought in my wisdom I would take Saxon for a little walk our little dog I don't often do that because there are a lot of big dogs around here and you have to know where they live and what to do so off I went on a little walk and I got down to the end of our street in the corner, did but got about 20 yards down that road when out of nowhere came this little Jack Russell attacking Saxon's legs and biting him. Saxon was on a lead, so he was trying to get out the way and in this free-for-all of a mess, I got pulled over and I face-planted the bitumen or the tarmac on the road so I've got all these cuts here and on my knees and I sprained my wrist, which has limited my crafting time before I go away, which I'm not happy about. Anyway, that's what happened. Look, um, Thing must have realised I'd gone out because he'd come racing after me to warn me about this new little Jack Russell that had moved in around the corner. But as he said, he saw me go over. He wasn't quick enough. However, he did knock on the people's door. Now, we don't want the dog put down, and our council are pretty strict. If I put in a complaint, that um, dog would be euthanized. But as my hubby explained to them, it's not the first time it's happened, but they need to do something about their yard to keep their dog in the yard and not come racing out attacking other dogs. Because my sister has Jack Russells and one of them was quite nasty, no matter how much training. And I think Thing was worried, what if they attack a child and mis in mistake of it being a dog? So yeah, he said, look, you need to do something. My, wife, my wife's pretty banged up from this, but you know, we're just going to leave it with you guys. So hopefully they took on board that their dog needs to be stay in his yard. Anyway. I'm excited about our holiday. So that's why I video today. I wanted to share with you my cows that I have managed to finish before the injury for August because I am doing a few cows and a few other things. So we'll get started. So of course I was looking forward to the luck of the draw number six with Nan's next knots. I was so organized with my yarn I'd had it put aside since I finished luck of the draw five. And yes, it finally started. Now, Nan isn't well, so keep her in your prayers and send her good healing vibes. To help her out, Mama Swift is doing luck of the draw and she is drawing the numbers each week. So I have managed to do week one and two. Now, the burgundy is my main colour. I have eight other colours and that is my base colour. Yes, I don't follow the norm. I always do something a little weird. Now, I did start with two rows of base colour and then I decided that was too heavy. So I'm only doing one row of base colour and four rows of the number drawn each week. So week one and then week two. And today being Friday here coincides with Thursday in the Northern Hemisphere when um, Trisha Mama Swift draws the out and she has drawn out today's number which happens to be this aqua yarn so next on my luck of the draw will be this beautiful aqua i would have liked to have got this done before i go away but my wrist is too sore i'm using spotlights cocoon yarn i have quite a bit of this in different colors it's an anti-killing eight ply and it's a very very soft i really like this now, the tutorial I am doing, or pattern, is by Glenda Creative Grandma, that way. And it is called, I have to use my glasses, because I really do like it. It is called Easy Holiday Baby Afghan by Creative Grandma. 
and all the tutorials patterns any information i think you might like to check out will be in the description below this video see that's a close up i think it's really lovely and yes it is easy it's called easy holiday because she did it in christmas colors but you could do it in any color and it is pretty so that is what i am doing for luck of the draw six but i will be away for three weeks so no doubt I'll have some catching up to do when I get back because I'm not taking that with me. So the next one is Zeta's Calendar Cow. So if you're new to the channel, I've been doing Zeta's Place Calendar Cow each month. She shows a photo of a calendar she had made of different podcasters. And you can make anything and use the photo of the on the calendar to inspire you. So this month for August... It was the lovely Z who has Zelda RJ3 podcast. Now for her, I love doing her lovey tutorial. It is my go-to tutorial for loveys that I sell on my charity store. It is so easy. You should check it out. Now she was wearing a very summery lacy poncho, um, sitting in a nice green fresh air place. And I thought what would inspire me. So here it is. I'd be making tea cozies and I made a Jacob's Ladder tea cozy. I thought the Jacob's Ladder was close to representing her poncho and hopefully I got the colour combination right and I put a green little flower on top. It's a two pot tea, a two cup tea cozy, it's only a small one. So the yarn I used is for the greens, I used Stylecraft DK, special DK which is lovely and soft. And all the pinks I had to colour control out of a Starcraft candy shop swirl. There's a few left over there. Um, but yeah, I wanted the colour combination that was in her poncho along with the green area she was sitting in. But that is for August for Zeta's calendar cow. I thought it turned out really nice. So that was that one. So what's next on my list? Of course... Now, Charm Grammy at, um, Crochet is running, um, I think she calls it, so I've got it written down, CGC Crochet Cal 20, uh, 2022. And this was, you had to make a little hat and booties or socks. Could be child, could be adult size, but, you know, to make a set. And um, to inspire me, I actually found this in an old Crochet World magazine. Um, it's June 2022. I stopped buying them because it's really quite expensive to buy them here. Um, this one at the time cost me $15.95. $15.95. I think they're close to $18 now. So that's the set. However, me being me, I have to adapt it because I want to use my yarn stock. So here goes. I have made a little newborn hat Ta -da! with matching boots. Ta -da! I don't know if you can see those. I'll put pictures at the end. There you go. I didn't want to do the black and striping, constantly changing color um, for such a little project. So the yarn I used to get sort of like a stripy cat bear effect, whatever you want to call it, was... It's this. It's Karen Simply Soft Gold. I split it in two for the project. And that's about how much left. I did have a ball band, but I'm having one of those brain fade days today. I don't know where I put it. But it was Karen Simply Soft Gold. And it gave me that ombre effect for a bear without having to do the stripes for the tiger. But I think it's newborn size. I think it's really cute. And I did get asked at my um, charity market store last in last week, week before last week. Do I do new little newborn booty and hat sets? So hopefully, they will like that one. I really enjoyed making it, and I will post it on Charm Grammy's Facebook group um, for her. Uh, what next? I'm still breathless. I still get breathless from COVID. Dum, dum, dum. So then there's my Rock 2022 cow, which I was behind. And I did my Neil Diamond Square 
which I did in this, um, I guess you call it variegated blue, to, my, to suit the jeans he was wearing in the, um, out on the front cover of the album for Hot August Nights. I haven't sewn my ends in and I've trimmed it in black because there's going to be two lap gowns now, one with black borders and one with white borders. But I finished that one. Now, does it look a bit smaller? Yeah, you know why? Because Blondie here, with no brain, picked up a 325 crochet hook instead of the 350 hook. I know they're very similar in colours. I finished it, boarded it, I thought, then you know, when I put it with the others, I thought, that's just a little bit smaller. That's why. I didn't wasn't careful with what crochet hook I was using. However, I'm not concerned. It's quite stretchy. It will fit in somewhere into my lap gown. Now, before the accident, I plan to have the next square done for Olivia Newton-John for August, but I don't see me getting that done before I go away either. Don't be concerned if you're doing Rock 2022 that I won't come back to you in September. I will. Wherever it's convenient, even if I have to pre-record 1st of September and 15th of September, I will be somewhere with internet and hopefully posting what you can do for Rock 2022 in September. That's my cow, one of my cows. So the next one is I have decided and I did it in my last video so I'll put it up here somewhere so you can check it out we could do second hand September for thrift shop international thrift shop day basically you go to an op shop which I forgot to call them last time I should have remembered that op shop charity shop thrift shop goodwill store buy some pre-loved yarn obviously you don't want it to smell smelly and make something take a photo before and a photo after now if you're not mobile and getting out and about take some old project you have say that you've half done and you're not going to finish take a photo frog it and make something new or just take something from your around your home and repurpose it into something different it can be anything you can take an old plant pot decorate it and make give it new life it's all about secondhand September, making something old, new again, and recycling and reducing our landfill and our chronic need to accumulate more and more things. Me, I am in the process of de-stashing things. However, I will be buying yarn on holiday. I cannot resist. So that's my two make-alongs. And finally, for all the cows and make-alongs that are going on, Mousy Makes, um, Amanda Jane is doing knitting with Ukraine. Now, that's the hashtag, but you can do anything. Crochet, cross-stitch, whatever you like, as long as what you choose is a pattern or product by a Ukraine, des a Ukraine designer. Now, I've done a pair of baby booties, but I did start this um, little project a while back for knitting with Ukraine. Now, I haven't brought the pattern along. Last time I showed it, where's the stitch marker? Dun, 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 dun. Progress Keeper. Was, I was up to there, and I've done a few more rows. This closes on August the 31st. I won't have this finished before I go, but I did want to share it. It is called The Sea Wave Afghan by Lena fed over I will put links here. it is a free pattern and it is designed to use scrap yarn so you go along one row and finish it and then start back here with a base row you have a base color mine happens to be white and then finish it so there are lots of ends if you're not into ends this is not for you but if you have small pieces of scrap yarn this is ideal and I do have a lot of baby scrap yarn that I am using up. So there you go. Lena Fedorova, Ukraine. And um, yeah, I'll put the pattern below. I really like it. But I won't have it finished before the 31st of August. But that is called Knitting with Ukraine. Mousy Makes Amanda Jane Davies. Davies? Davis? Something like that. Anyway, I've really enjoyed watching her videos on that and I'm enjoying, you post your pictures on Instagram, 
you have to hashtag it knitting with ukraine doesn't matter if it's crochet diamond painting or whatever um, but you also have to hashtag the pattern or the designer now if you don't know how you can email amanda jane and she'll help you out i have found my instagram pattern designer and i will ha i think i've already posted it or when i post it i will hashtag her i can't remember i've been posting today so there you have it they are all my finished objects for august calendar cows make alongs just getting a few ahead before i go away so i won't be back in cairns my hometown until september the 11th actually might be the 11th no i go back to work on the 11th so i probably fly back on the 9th so my holiday adventures out of the blue thing and i decided we both needed to get out of cairns look we have had friends here this week from western australia that we haven't seen for 20 or more years probably longer my boys were little and they didn't even have children when we left but they've come up here on holiday and it was all the them you know they were going to see their daughter in melbourne and come up here they got us thinking we needed to get away and even though we had dinner with them the other night we was i was saying to the wife look it might look busy and big but that's a lot of tourists but she was quite surprised at pretty much the restaurant we went to where we went for coffee afterwards i kept getting stopped and spoken to and she goes wow and i went that was my old job everybody knew me everybody knew of me and even though i haven't worked there for seven years it's like i haven't left they talk to me like i'm still there and it's often the reason thing and i don't go out i'm a celebrity in my own fish pond sometimes he finds it annoying because it's been such a long time and yeah i just said to her it is a cairns to me is a small country town when the tourists aren't here and most people know most people if you've lived here a long time like we have so we decided we need thing and i we needed to get away and i can take some leave from work so guess where we're going we're going to melbourne and victoria for three weeks and we leave at 6 a.m tomorrow morning we've we're staying somewhere in the melbourne cbd for three days we've got a hire car and then we are just going to explore Victoria. But of course, first three days exploring the CBD. And then we're off to Bendigo Woolen Mills. Gee, can't wait. It's one of the things that's been on my bucket list for a while. Maybe explore Bendigo, stay overnight, and then head to Wangaratta. Hopefully to meet up with a subscriber and good friend and visit Wangaratta and Woolen Mills. We have no set plans other than the first three days in the CBD and going to Bendigo and Wangaratta. We are just going to play it by ear, explore the Great Ocean Road. We've got a um, SUV that we've hired and that's what we're going to do. Stay wherever. So if you're a subscriber in Victoria and you would like to catch up, let us know where you live if it's not close to the CBD. And we'll see whether we're passing through that area. I can't guarantee that we will catch up with everyone, but I already know one that I'm dying to meet and we will catch up. It's so exciting just to be able to meet Yanni friends that have been on subscribers online and, you know, talk to you by email and to explore. I haven't been to Victoria since I was 24 years of age, I went for work. I didn't even have kids then. I may have been pregnant, just pregnant. But yeah, and things about the same. He went for work and neither of us really left the Melbourne CBD. And that's why we want to get out and explore some of the outer areas and explore more of Victoria. And friends a couple of years back that I met on a trip did the great ocean road and raved about it so we do want to see some of that and hopefully i will be posting some holiday adventures which may include yarn 
So if you're interested, make sure you stay tuned and subscribed and check out the videos as they pop up. I can't promise you they'll be daily and I can't promise you there'll be a lot of them because the idea is to have a lot of fun. So for the three hour flight to Melbourne, I have a crochet project to take with me so that I can do on the plane. We're not allowed to take knitting needles, but we are allowed to crochet. And I'm doing a crochet project and I have some patterns with me that I plan to buy yarn for when I'm out and about at these lovely yarn shops we don't have up here. So it is beautiful weather today, sunny, about 29 Celsius. And we, as Thing put it, tomorrow when we hit Melbourne, it will be 13 Celsius and raining. I love it. He's like, oh. Look, it's when you live in the tropics, it's always nice to holiday where it's going to be cold. Guys, I hope you stay well. I hope you take care. I hope you join us and tag along for my holiday adventure videos when they appear. Until next time, stay safe. Bye for now.